So a lot of people ask me, what is my optimal setup for my bait fish at the Fisher Pier? Well, a couple things you're gonna need, guys. You're gonna need a bucket with a rope. It's 20 feet down to the water here. And I think that's probably pretty obvious. But I've been using my Yeti bucket. It's an insulated bucket, so it helps retain the cool temperature. Well, I wouldn't say cool, but it helps retain the temperature of the water a little longer. But guys, what I've been doing is hooking up I threw away those those uh, battery operated uh, power bubblers, guys. I swear, if I had the money of all the the dollars I've spent and how many I've purchased over my fishing career, man, I might be a millionaire because those things go bad so quick. I swear they do. But anyway, save yourself a ton of money, guys. Trust me on this. This power bubble right here, 12 volt air pump. This is what you're gonna want. It emits way more power, way more oxygen and it's just way better the other thing i showed you this here recently the rebel 12 amp hour battery i'm just connecting it directly to my power bubbler and it's going to last all day it's going to last years i'm talking like eight years and it's going to keep your bait alive it's super lightweight i mean hell this is almost as heavy as just carrying around the the bubbler with the batteries that's how light it is so how do you rig it up? Simple as this. First off, you gotta unwrap everything because mine, of course, mine's a mess. Put your rock down in here and the water and your hose. This lays next to it here. Got two little clamps negative, positive. Oh. I need to hook up my hose, huh? That helps. Now check out that. Check out the bubble. It's way stronger than your typical bubbler. So now, what I recommend doing, I don't really like putting cast netted baits in the bucket because they get descaled and they just don't last out here. If you want your bait to last, you have to sabiki them. And that's what we're gonna do next here. So stay tuned and uh, we'll show you what we're doing with that. Here's my little sabiki. That's all it takes. Small little spinning rod and reel. Let's rig it up. Guys, anybody can use a sabiki. It's as simple as tipping it with shrimp, squid, on a, a triangle sinker or a bait sinker, put it down there, wait for the nibbles, you're good to go. All right, so I'll open up the package, guys. I'm just gonna tie this off onto my leader line. And uh, again, just to improve clinch knot, nothing fancy. It works, trust me. But you tie the knot of your choice, trim the tag a little bit. Now what you wanna do is go ahead and hook your bait sinker. I got this light one, the tide's barely moving and this size or your sinker is gonna be dependent on the, uh, the current and the depth that you're fishing. So today we don't need nothing too crazy. All right, now what you wanna do is just start pulling this and you want to try to be easy finesse it guys because if you don't you end up with a hook in the hand or just an absolute mess got a love hate relationship with these just pop them out of there she's ready to go now you can either sabiki this for, with for white bait without tipping it which i could do that now or you could tip it with squid or shrimp and catch the pinfish pigfish grunts and things like that Snapper. Oh. Now, guys, this is what I call the skittle of the sea. I'm not going to tell you you should use it for bait, but let me tell you, those are a fire bait. Man, I might have lied, guys. You might not need any uh, shrimp or squid. Catching all kinds of them right now. Woo! Let's go. Just so you know, the bait is always gonna be on the opposite side of the direction of the tide. So in other words, if it's going out, the bait fish are gonna usually be on that side of the pier. If it's coming in, it's gonna be on back behind me here. So it's something for you guys to know, always look at the shadow line and around the pilings and you'll see them. So what I'm doing <clears throat> is I'm casting over 
on the opposite side to try to get these white bait. I hope you guys have enjoyed these tips from the Skyway. Make sure you give a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. Hopefully we see you again. Until next time. <laughs>